How to use bioleaching to extract copper. Higher content by kscience.com. Here is a diagram of earth and this black line shows where the crust is. Copper ores are found in the crust. There is a limited supply as copper ores are a finite resource. So let's say we had 100% copper and in many many years after using a lot of the copper there may only be say 20% left. This means there's not much left because we've used a lot of the copper and we have not replaced it at the same rate as which we've used it. So copper is a finite resource. There are two types of copper ores, high grade ores and low grade ores. High grade ores are also known as copper rich ores. High grade ores are ores which have a high percentage of the metal. For high grade copper ores, smelting and electrolysis are used to extract the metal. Whereas low grade ores are ores which have a low percentage of the metal in the ore. Two techniques used to extract copper from low grade ores are bioleaching, which involves the use of bacteria and other microorganisms and phytomining, which involves the use of plants. In this video, we're going to focus on how bioleaching is used to extract copper from low-grade ores. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Bioleaching is used when we have a low percentage of copper ions and this is the low grade ore because there is a low percentage of copper. To extract the copper from the low grade ore, bacteria is grown on the low grade ore. So bacteria are grown on the low grade metal ores where they feed on the metal ores. A leachate is formed which is a solution of copper ions. Biological and chemical processes of the bacteria form a solution rich with copper ions. So this leachate is just a solution rich with copper ions. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. In the next stage, we now have the leachate and to extract the copper from the leachate, we add scrap iron to the leachate where displacement by scrap iron extracts the copper. Or we can use electrolysis, which also extracts the copper from the leachate. After adding scrap iron and using electrolysis, we now have pure copper. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com. For more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.